this is my 2021 Thor Talaro built on a Ram Promaster 3500 chassis. This is in a, a vehicle that we use for adventure, go to national parks with it, we go out to the desert with it. Uh, sometimes it's unloaded with just our stuff in it. Sometimes it's hooked up to an aluminum trailer with a side-by-side -side behind it. One of the issues that we found was uh, the vehicle swayed a lot in the wind. So we reached out to my buddies over at Hellwig. And we're going to install our steel helper springs and a rear sway bar on this Ram 3500 and show you guys firsthand the first drive reaction on the Hellwig difference with a level load from our helper springs and the stability added and control of our rear sway bar. All right, we've got the rear sway bar installed. We've got the helper springs installed. Everything is torqued under there except for our in-links. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the ground, double check the dangle of our sway bar, make sure we're parallel with the ground. As long as we are, we'll torque everything down and do our test drive. First impression, just hitting the throttle, I don't feel the rear squatting as much. So even just that feels more controlled. Going around that corner, less sway. I'm going over some neighborhood speed bumps right now. And what I noticed, first thing I'm noticing is as I'm going over these speed bumps, the uh, rear suspension, whenever I would go over a speed bump before, it would actually blow through the travel entirely and I would feel it bottom in the rear and I'm not getting that anymore, which is really nice. Let's see if I can catch this green light. We'll try to swing her a little hard. Much, much less sway. The body roll I used to get out of this was very pronounced, and the body roll feels way, way better. Even though it's just a rear sway bar, it feels like it's affecting the entire vehicle. It's definitely still got what I would say is the uh, class B high roof movement. You know, you still feel the characteristics of the RV. It didn't turn it into a sports car by any means, but it is definitely an improvement. It feels controlled. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna, if I, if I jerk the wheel, I'm gonna lose control of the vehicle. It feels like I'm still in control and the vehicle wants to return to how it was. You know, with the add leaf that we put on the leaf springs or the helper uh, spring that was added, I actually expected the ride to be a little bit more jarring over the poor streets we have here in LA. You know, I expected to feel way more feedback and I'm not. So I'm actually really happy about that. I thought there would be some sort of trade-off in regards to having that additional spring rate, but it does not feel oversprung. It feels correctly sprung. I love taking off from a stop now. It feels, before there was this uh, major shift to the rear, and now it just plants itself the way it should. Kind of feels like when you're in a, a three-quarter turn or one-ton truck and you take off from a light, now it plants itself, uh, whereas before it felt kind of like a much smaller vehicle that would rock and shift a lot. This Thor Talaro, with how it was set up from the factory, I think every Thor Talaro owner should start with these helper springs and this rear sway bar because the amount of weight that's in this vehicle uh, with how the suspension set up absolutely needs it. I, I think it's a great upgrade. If any of you out there are interested in getting these parts installed on your Ram Promaster chassis, which I highly recommend, Definitely reach out to me at Galpin Autosports and I'd be happy to assist you.